This is a typical dial indicator mounted on a magnetic base. You need to use this to actually measure the amount of run out. Because we're measuring such fine amounts, a dial indicator shows a, a, a small amount of movement so that we can get an accurate reading. We use a solid part of the suspension to mount the magnetic base to, set it up so that we can actually measure how much run out is actually in the hub face itself. This is pretty important because if there's run out here, it will affect the outer diameter of the disc and if we have excessive here, it'll end up excessive outside at the edge of the disc which will result in DTV being worn into the disc at a very short period of time. As you can see, we've set it up, we've zeroed the dial indicator. Now we can rotate the hub and see exactly how much run out the hub actually has. As we can see, there's very, very little movement in the dial indicator, so it's pretty much on zero run out. So if we find that there is excessive run out in the hub, which is anything more than probably about 0.02 of a millimetre, we need to consider the option of actually replacing the hub. Because if we've got 0.02 of a millimetre here now, by the time we move it out to the outer diameter of the disc, which on, if it's a car that's fitted with a large disc rotor that's above 300 mil, that can be well over 0.05 of a mil of run out. If we fit the disc at this point, and we realise that we have over 0.05 of a mil of run out, it's only going to be a matter of time before this vehicle comes back with a brake shutter problem. We'll now move the caliper to an area where we can access it easily because what we need to do now to fit the new disc is we actually need to push the pistons in the caliper to locate it here and here. They need to be pushed back to allow enough clearance for the new disc to fit in with the new pads installed. So what we need to do first of all, this car is fitted with ABS so it's very important that we don't push the old fluid that's been sitting in behind these pistons back up the brake line and into the ABS module. This can cause issues with the ABS unit. So what we need to do is actually clamp off the brake hose and actually bleed that fluid out as we press the pistons back. So first of all, we use the brake hose clamp and we fit that to the brake hose and clamp it off. That will stop any fluid returning up the brake line. Then what we need to do is get our spanner, fit it to the bleed screw. Then need to get our hose and suitable retaining bottle for capturing the fluid. And we fit that into place. We now grab our pad spreader. We fit that in place, squeeze it out, take up the load. Then what we need to do is crack the bleed screw and then push the pistons back. You can actually see as the fluid is pressed out of the, the caliper. Once the pads are all the way back, we then close it off while there is still fluid in the line. This will stop air actually getting back into the caliper. Once that's done, we can then move the hose, make sure we drain the fluid out of the hose. It's very important that we don't get brake fluid on any painted surfaces as the brake fluid will actually eat through the paint. We can now remove our pad spreader. And as you can see, the pistons have now been returned all the way back in to the caliper. Now that we've pushed the pistons back, we can remove the, the old brake pads from the caliper. It's very important at this point that we check to make sure that all the uh, tensioning springs, anti-rattle shims are in good condition, aren't bent or damaged in any way. And also we need to check that the caliper seals and dust boots are in good condition and still soft with no cracks or breaks in them. It's important that we remove any of the dirt and dust and contaminants from where the pads actually sit on the shims. So if we don't remove this then it stops the pads from sliding freely when we fit them up and this can cause the pads to drag on the disc instead of being retracted correctly during normal operation. Once they're clean it's now ready to accept the new pads.